strap in one of these. Oh, aluminum. I got a bucket for that already. Nice aluminum. Think of my new bench, everybody. Brand new. Built it myself. Steel. Fuck it for that. I had this piece of stainless from a scrap job. So I made a table the exact same size. Sorry about the heater noise behind me, but Grandpa does not like to be cold. I should probably have a long sleeve shirt on. I don't. I got Sculler Metals, S-K-U-L-L-E-R, Sculler Metals shirt. I wore it once, now it's in the cleaner. It goes up on the wall of fame. stainless or brass might be a piece of brass oh yeah yellow brass looks like a brass screw screw this is a real strong fishing magnet and it's not picking it up I'm taking that as brass and my trash it's my aluminum nope garbage This is definitely some 60% wire here. I got 40% down there, so I need to get a 60% bucket too, I guess. Right now I have a, let's, I think that's coming apart and it's all steel anyway so looks like looks like steel now we're gonna see what this thing's about I already got screws out of it 
Oh yeah. Nice cast aluminum. piece of brass and a little bit of wire. Shred. Nice piece of cast. Nice piece of cast. Yeah, that looks interesting. Another nice piece of clean cast. Nice. Most important thing is whether this is copper or aluminum. Oh, it's beautiful copper. Oh my word. All right, Jamie loves calling. Zero. Let's see what this thing weighs all by itself. I'm gonna figure that that piece of copper is about two pounds of number two. That's gonna be right at six dollars if I cut it out. We have ten pounds of um, what we'll call um, HMS, ten cents a pound approximately. Um, if I just did it like that. At 10 cents a pound, that's 10 pounds, that's a dollar. So if I cut that out, I'm gonna get a little less than a dollar for the heavy weight. Plus I'm gonna make six bucks on the uh, piece of um, copper. So it's well worth taking these things apart, but I'm not finished with it anyways. I still want to clean it up, cut these wires off, and since I have uh, quite a few of these things, the best thing I can do is bring them all in, get them scrapped out, and be done with them.
find out what this clean aluminum weighs. That'll give me an idea of how much aluminum I'll have at the end. Got the scale zeroed out. 1.2 pounds for this side. 1.3 pounds. more pounds two and a half more pounds of uh, aluminum cast cast aluminum nice clean cast too clean cast something else going on. There we go. Shred. Every bit of it. percent wire right there clean cast that can be sold as motor which you don't necessarily want to do it's 25 cents a pound that right there is 10 pounds um, you're gonna get a couple dollars for it or you could double your money by cutting that piece of copper out of there and um, that aluminum out of there basically double your money on that so um, I personally I'm gonna take all of them once I get finished scrapping them all out and I have two more I'm gonna personally gonna take them I'm gonna save that for last because it's a little messy and I'm gonna continue tearing the rest of these things apart that I have if you notice that's what I've been doing around my shop is cleaning up everything that I have outside down to where I can micro scrap any little bit and that's been working out pretty good to be honest with you 
Really good. Okay, we'll aluminum. Aluminum, my goodness. I didn't throw one of them in there, did I? No, I didn't. And I've been saving all my nuts and bolts and everything, so. Because I guess from what I've been told, it's prepared, it's prepared steel. Think about it, it's prepared steel. Why not? bunch of these chains same exact length I'm not sure what I can do with them but I'm definitely gonna keep them in mind keeping them in mind After these, I would like to get rid of them chargers that I have and get them busted down the golf cart chargers. I have like 10 of them. Hate to say it, but I'm gonna be doing a video on golf cart chargers and I'm hoping that maybe one gets to be better than the next. I don't know. I'm hoping I can get one that will hit. So I'll do a little bit different, something different to each one of them, I guess. Quite a few of these, I guess, by the time it's over. Some type of a ballast. Just curious. Every time I scratch one of these down, what am I going to end up with? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's copper. Yep, that one's copper. That is aluminum. Aluminum, one side, copper on the other. Every single one of them been that way so far. That's one, two, three, four. Four of them. That way. I'm getting about two and a half pounds. Uh, two and a half pounds or so of cast out of each one. It's not too bad. And I know the um, copper in them things weigh a couple pounds. Of course, I know I still have to get it out. Just to make sure that it is and it is. I'll make sure everything is. My shred metal. But I am 
them, like I say, saving my screws and my nuts and bolts and stuff like that now as prepared so I can bring it in. 10 pounds of prepared, I guess is um, better than 10 pounds of shred. I just throw it in the shred. Right, I know that's about a couple of pounds there. Some more clean cast and a couple of pounds there. Awesome. Let's see what we got next. A piece of brass. I freaking am so excited about my cable. Oh my God. You kidding me? Look at this thing. This is amazing. Before, that's all I had. And it was too high. Now, look at this. This is a table. Yes, sir, this is a table. Now I feel more like the Canadian treasure hunter with buckets all around me. I got my wire buckets, I got my um, brass buckets, my red brass, yellow brass, trash bucket, shred bucket, and cast aluminum back there along with my other aluminums. I'm feeling like a big dog. Feeling like a big dog. I guess that could be too. Any small metal prepared steel, right? I always end up mixing up my loads with bigger stuff. It's hard to just save prepared, to be honest with you, it really is. But if you can bring in a five gallon bucket or something, why not? Say, why not? Beautiful day. Heard a lot of people's been having some super cold weather. Not for me. Grandpa's not the favorite guy, I promise you.
I tell everybody, you can have that cold. Grandpa's not into it. doesn't have that brass inside of it. Strange. Five of them.
The other piece is aluminum. I'm not going to waste my time trying to get that piece of um, aluminum out of there. I just cut prepared steel, whatever you want to call it. That's the way it's going. I am going to get my copper out of there though. Copper's got to go with me. Oh, let's see. Where's my little copper tool? Copper banger. That's too big. Just barely too big though. I got another one. Let me find it. So I take that piece. Now oh, the piece came off the end down here. Solid copper. Zero. Nine tenths of a pound. The number two copper. Nine tenths of a pound. So almost. Almost, almost three dollars. It's probably two dollars and eighty cents. I'll take that for that little bit of work I did. That's aluminum. I don't think I'm gonna even waste my blade on it. I'll sell that right in with my rotors. Be honest with you, with heavy steel, I'm not gonna let it. I think that's a fair. I think that's a fair negotiation. Heavy prepared steel.